Don't let go of the triggers, don't let go of the triggers, don't let go of the triggers, don't let go of the triggers. Creeping in closer. What is wrong with these mountains? Ugh. Ugh. Hey, off. Jeez. Come on. Hold on, kid. I got you. I think. Oh, he's not responding to the stick or anything. Ugh. Ugh. Hold on. We'll get you some air. Just hold on a bit longer, kid. Makes me wonder in that scene, I wonder what would have happened if I sent the little brother over first instead of second, if we would have split up that same way. Ugh. Uh. Okay, I don't need the evil whispers or the twisting bullshit here. What the hell is this? Lady Giant. Oh, that's Mom? Well, that's Dad, I guess, back there. going on uh, this feels like I'm getting into Silent Hill territory I think I've been watching too much of the Akamura's Let's Plays The hell? Ugh. This is some witch magic bullshit. Or one fucking awful nightmare. This poor kid is traumatized beyond all belief. All right, buddy. We won't let anything bad happen to each other. We got this. We just have to keep going. All right? Ugh. Ugh. God. Well, it looks like we've survived the night. The weather seems to have calmed down. There's not even any music. Creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hang yourself, lady. What's going on here? Maruhadi! Ta! Jeez, what was that about, dude? Are you going to grab a bucket of water and throw it in his face too, little brother? 
Uh, what happened here? House burned down? I guess? Looks like a house just burned down. Oh, uh, maybe that was his wife and child who died in the fire? That's weird. Can we both do something for you, dude? Uh, double trigger. Nope. Nothing. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. I don't know. I guess that was it. Look, we gotta get back to our own adventure, but... Our own journey. Try to take care of yourself, buddy. Ugh. So that's an example of what I'm talking about. To me, that's actually more tragic than hearing the stupid voice acting or anything like that, you know? You don't need the voice acting for it. I got it. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, bull shit. Ah, okay, I broke physics. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. I don't mind breaking physics. Not for something like that. There we go. Ugh. This is a scary, scary-ass world. Full of depression. That's also not a bad thing. This is a very intriguing uh, game. Especially given that there isn't voice acting. I know I keep going back to that, but it's like... We're in this world, this era of gaming where games are designed for stupid people. Generally speaking, or at least a lot of uh, games seem to be designed for people who have never picked up a controller before. And it's very nice to see when the game or the story doesn't give you just everything. I mean, it... I don't know. I, I really like that in writing, too. When uh, games don't give you the whole story. When they just give you most of it. And, you know, it, it makes you want to know more. Because there are a lot of stories and games that, um, you know, once you experience them, they're done. There's no mystery left. And I always like the games that have stories that make you wanting more. Some Final Fantasies didn't even, you know, once they were done, it was a little too much closure. Everything tied up nicely and you got to go home and it was done and whatever. But I've always liked the games that leave a little bit open. Not just for rooms for sequels, but just room for your imagination. And this game seems to have that same kind of story. Like, it gives you just enough that you yeah. basically know what's going on, but the specifics and the uh, the backstories are sort of in your head. I mean, I could take that poor dude who tried to hang himself and add in a whole bunch of other motivations or reasonings. Hmm. That looks like it'd be a one-way. And it looks like I can't advance here anyway. Okay. To the goat farm. So, I don't know. I just, I've always loved stories like that. Where you don't quite know everything. I, I've always felt that in fiction, whether you're talking games, movies, books, whatever, that uh, a little should be left up to the player. Or the, the yeah. consumer, I guess. I can't close the gate. Um, you know, that whoever is experiencing the work should, um, have to do a little bit of work themselves. 
Now some, you know, there, there are places, there is a place for mindless drivel, but I don't think everything should, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> but I'm not a fan of the idea of like a huge chunk of our fiction suddenly becoming uh, mindless drivel. A lot of games seem to be doing that nowadays. Either that or I'm not looking- Oh god! I'm not looking hard enough for games that don't do it. So, I'm very glad I found this one. Whoa. Ugh. Come on. Uh, I get you stuck, buddy? I think I got him stuck. Oh, I'm forced to go that way? Okay. Oh, all right. Uh. We're just taking two different paths. I see. Good boy. That's a good goat. That's a very good goat. Hopefully you find your way back to the ranch and not, you know, break your legs on the mountain. All right. Hey, it's a dude with weird shit on his back and bizarre hair. Okay. Thanks, Einstein. I, I guess we'll take it from here. Can you, can you make the same jump, dude? Doesn't seem so. Can you make it without the... Yes, you can make it without that. Oh, sweet. Okay. Again, such a simple mechanic. This is when... This is how much I like it. I mean... Or this is one of the reasons I like it so much. That... You know, it's just two sticks and two triggers. That's all you have to worry about. Atta. Uh. Come on. Hold on, buddy. I almost got you up there. There you go. Oh, he's got a little flying machine. Anyway, but yeah, it's a very well-designed game. They just, they take, they can, uh, they take one simple mechanic and they're able to use it a hundred different ways and create this wonderful experience. I love it. Wow, he's very, re uh, very ready to accept our favor of borrowing his flying machine for no apparent reason. <laughs> Kid, just give it up. Okay, so... Before I run down there, I want to see what's up here. Nothing really. Can I move this? Oh, I can make music. Wait. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could dance like that. I would be drowning in boobs. If I could clip through a table like that, that'd be even better, too. <laughs> 